Suppose that ten personality disorders. These are the authoritative list given by American Psychological Association. So, person having having some troubles, how he was thinking, thinking, feeling, and acting. He was thinking that he was too dark. He cannot be, you know, uh, he was thinking that his voice was not, you know, uh, uh, too melodious. He could not become a singer. Then he started feeling that he is not good for singing in a career or, you know, a playback uh, singer career. Then finally, he started hating, you know, the very music industry. Later, whenever somebody sings, he becomes arrogant and then he kind of, you know, uh, bashes them. He kind of, you know, uh, uh, shouts at them. So this has now become an issue, you know, with them. That means, from emotion, communicating within himself, under the psychological health level, he was finally following with others unnecessarily, then he had a lot of issues with himself and finally his personality has changed so much that whenever he sees somebody singing or murmuring or kind of no whispering have a small you know, song, he becomes you know, pretty much you know, upset with that and he shouts at them for no reason. Therefore, he has got some disorder which has to be treated by qualified you know, uh, uh, psychiatrists and also important counselors. All personality disorders can be dealt with, can be cured with only counseling. If not, aggressive behavior is involved. If somebody is eating the other person, if somebody is throwing object, if somebody is using abusive language, then only counseling may not work. The, the person has to be put to sleep, some tranquilizer pill that is called as transfusion pill that must be, you know, uh, uh, given. It, that, it needs the intervention of a psychiatrist. Otherwise, psychological counselors who are very trained can be of good use when there are people suffering from any of these 10 personality disorders. They go through them, you know, one, one after the other. First one is a classic one. It's called this anti-social personality disorder. What is social? He's a sociable person. He is a sociable person. We said that, right? He's a sociable person. Uh, if it's going to be anti-social, what do you mean by anti-social? Uh, 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 anti-social uh, personality. Knowing that something would hurt others, knowing that others may really feel for it, I end up doing all those activities. Okay? There are many children whom we can find. They can have a sharp object or a stone or even a, a used pen. As they go, they get a put a scratch in the way. Okay? Uh, there will be some plants or saplings as they talk, as they walk, they will be spoiling their, you know, saplings or trees or plants or vegetation. You would have seen, okay? There can be small insect moving, you know, for needless, needlessly, they will go stamp on the particular thing. So you cause hurt for no reason. They have not caused hurt for you, but even then, you will go out of the way and then hurt them. Okay, then such persons can be called as anti-social personality. So what are the traits? They damage the property. They disregard the rights of others. Okay? They don't follow the social decorum. Yes? Okay, good. Is there anybody who has gone beyond the stop line and stopped your two-wheeler even once? Even once. All of us. Okay? If there is a question, put across it this way. If you were to view first stage, not violating the traffic rules, especially you know, not parking, stopping the vehicle beyond the you know stop line. I don't think that you know any of us would be there because fearing the government bus lorries, I myself have you know gone beyond the stop line and then park or uh, stop the you know bullet or the you know uh, bullets especially two wheeler that's it. Hope that is the one can feel safe. So the idea is just because you trespass the rule once, you, you do not become an anti-social person. So when do I become an anti-social person? Why should I become an anti-social person? In other words, when is personality disorder happening for me? How can I understand? American Psychological Association defines personality in this way. Okay? How does it define? Okay? If, if a person is indulging in a behavior persistently that is so uncommon and not accepted within the society and also it affects his relationship with himself and with others then the person is said to have personality disorder. Okay. American Psychological Association puts personality disorder in this way. A person consistently behaves in a way 
Okay? A person consistently behaves consistently behaves in a way that is not acceptable within the society he lives, within the culture he belongs to, and such behavior is causing damage or destruction to himself and to others. It is said as the person having personality disorder. For example, if you take the Western society, what happens? Uh, uh, when, when the, the girl is in the school education, he or she can be uh, uh, friends from other gender. Usually we call this boyfriend or girlfriend. Okay? It is customary on their part to take the girlfriend to go out you know, for a movie and then drop the girlfriend again at home and there can be many friends like this. School days, one friend will not be there, but sometimes when they grow further, go to twenties, the girl may have one more friend also. So he or she will get along with other person. We can keep on going until the two people, you know, they match with they know, their lifestyle. They really uh, want to uh, you know, uh, be married and then live together for life. Then they can be married. That is accepted there. If it happens in a remote way, with Tamil Nadu, will be accepted. Okay, boy who is also studying the same school, okay, probably who is from a different la language, okay, he goes to the house, takes the girl, he takes the girl in the morning and then drops the girl, okay. Uh, the girl says, this is what you know, people in the US, people in the UK do, that's nothing wrong, okay, yes, uh, my father has given me the freedom, uh, the girl does not have a mother, so if the girl behaves consistently and repeatedly, you know, maintains such friendship with many boys, do you think that the girl will be accepted and respected here in the culture? So long as it is not opposed, so long as it is not creating a problem for herself and for the society that she lives in. What is society? Our members of the family, our relatives, our other friends. Because people look at it. Don't you think people in our family will say, if that happens and the girl loses focus in studies, start asking so many questions. What's so wrong in it? What's so, uh, am I doing anything wrong? And then she is degrading in her performance. She becomes, you know, a little hostile in her behavior. Then there is, there is something happening to her personality. It is called as disorder. There is no universally acceptable definition, but this is the authoritative definition given by American Psychological Association, ABA. If a person consistently behaves in a way for a longer time, which is harmful for himself or herself, which is not accepted by the society and culture that he or she belongs to, then it is person disorder. Therefore, if a person is repeatedly harming other person's property, okay. the person repeatedly does not respect the rights of others, the person violates, the person trespasses all of the rules without giving regard to others' well being. Okay. If I jump the signal, okay, I am having my card, there can be a small bystander or a person who is walking the road or a person who is coming in a small moment, elderly person. He can take it. Only your car will be damaged, but that person right, may lose his bodily arms or body parts. Right? Knowing this, he many times does it. Then he can say that the person is having you know, this personality disorder and is social. Yes? So what are the traits? The person is rash driving. He does not use the signal, okay, he does not understand that his behavior, knowing that his behavior can cause serious injuries to others, he does that. Wherever he goes, he keeps his property safe and you know, uh, damages others property. He uses abusive language, he does not respect the, the preference of others. He also always wants to establish his rights. Then he can be confirmed to that the person is having antisocial personality disorder, okay. Next, avoid personality disorder. Okay, good. Uh, is there anybody who has been denied one lakh rupees by me? Is there anybody? My question is: Is there any participant here who has been denied one lakh by me? We like to get split this scenario. For this, you must have come and make me asking for financial, you know, money or financial assistance, and that too, you must have asked for one lakh. So, the question is, without having been rejected already by a particular person, I do not go to the person at all, okay? I will think that he will anyway avoid. What if he avoids? 
What if he helps but still he misunderstands about me? What if you know he, he, he talks bad about me to others even after giving money? All these are ifs, ifs, ifs. So I avoid going out thinking that my financial status may be commented. My body appearance can be ridiculed. The way I speak can be badly spoken about. My performance at the office can be wrongly criticized. People can talk bad about me. These factors make me not to go get along with others. But remember, people have not come and asked money here. So nobody has actually ridiculed me. Nobody has ever criticized my physical appearance. Nobody has ever actually questioned what I am doing. But I am having the thinking, what if I go there, what if I go talk and spend time, they get an opportunity to collage my to, you know, to come up with a you know, delegated statement. Then I avoid all contacts with others. When I say others, in, in our house, they may be normal, but when we come out, they will not trust others. Then there is an issue with our personality. At our home, we will be fine. But if these keeps on repeating, and you don't trust anybody, you don't talk even few words with anybody, then there is a serious problem, because you cannot be a team player. You cannot live in a family. Yes or no? Okay? You cannot mingle with others also. This is a problem with avoided personality disorder. You avoid people when no negative experience has already happened. You are imagining that negative experiences may happen. And you are trying to avoid all contacts, which is not a good thing. Okay, then comes borderline personality disorder. Okay? For on, a, on a particular day, this particular young, young, young man is always happy. Okay, he's always enthusiastic. During the same week, on a some other day, he is always well. Even if I go talk to him, he is not contributing anything. He is not participating in the discussion at all. That's called his borderline. Okay, this is a polarized behavior. Sometimes he is happy, sometimes he is unhappy. Sometimes he is always revealing. Essentially, we bought this, we have asked for this, we have done that and we are planning this. The next day, no. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The same guy, in the morning he was so friendly. Again, let's apply the definition. Anybody, okay, at a family situation, at a hospital medical emergency, can behave in a weird way, which is accepted. But every day, every week, one day I am happy. The same day, towards the evening, I am dull. Okay, like all these Saturdays. Okay, I am just the opposite. Okay, and it affects me. It affects my team. My team mates, I am the manager here, do not know when to come and talk to me. Sometimes I give permission, sometimes I shout at them. Then what happens? They go complain to my to our experience. So it is a personality disorder. Sir, or in the manager has got some problem, you will have to come and talk. Because we don't know how to get out. Okay, so we need to be very sure that we don't end up having this avoided personality disorder. Okay, our symptoms are without actually having any negative experience, unnecessarily, I will try to avoid all, you know, getting along uh, you know, opportunity with others. Yes? Next one. Dependent personality disorder. Okay? Somebody is always dependent on others. Always dependent on others to get his job done. Okay? Many sons are pampered by fathers and mothers. Mostly daughters are pampered both by mothers and fathers. Okay, and the poor people end up at the party. Okay, grandma will say, One day you are the real, you are the real, say, Am I going there to do all the household work? Am I a servant? I have a servant. I will pay her. Give I am a party. So, okay. The question is, the child is too dependent. How does this dependency start? Shoe put on a lace in child, and the other one, why don't you come Okay, so we will have to empower children. Chinagala, Mustana, Ure, Pune, Rupa Chalamutana. So what happens is, even though she can cook, she will not cook well. Even though she can do things as a wife, she will expect her husband to take care because she has been treated that way. Then that can be a serious problem because of this. This day will say, no, you expect me to be a servant. That can be a problem. Okay. Then, this is something called a serionic personality disorder. Okay? For example, uh, uh, people end up doing too much of actions. Okay? Uh, 
when he goes stand, okay, all the time. <coughs> okay, what, what does it mean? He has got which kitchen problem there? Okay, he has got four plot there. What else? <coughs> okay. If he does that, what, huh? Not just attention, what else? Now professor, I am standing here, still you are playing. Yes? Attention seeking, but why? Because I want to prove that I am the centre here, centre of focus here. People must respect me, people must you know, look at me. If you think this is a disorder, almost all of us have this disorder. You know, more than you, I may be having the disorder. Because why do we dress up so nicely? Why do we dress up so nicely? For ourselves, okay? It is not a delegate statement that I will to make. Go watch visually challenged people selling some small vegetables or you know, small candies in the train. Many of them have color they have. Many of them keep themselves neatly shaven. These are the people who give a lot of importance to their self-esteem. Even though they are visually ch challenged, they don't beg. There is illogical you know, question. If it is asked this way, you are not a blind, you are a blind, visually challenged person. You do not know how others look at you. Why is it you have a proper habit every once in a two months, every periodical, you know, cycles you have a proper habit every once or twice, uh, once in a week, or twice in a week you share. Why? Because of the respect that he gives to himself. Yes? But well, right. many times we dress up, you know, in order that others can look at us and respect. In order that we can, you know, be appreciated by others. Yes? But this is a disorder when, okay, for just, just I'm saying, you need to think about the uh, you know, super -hosting. Every time, okay, with the proper clip, proper handbag, proper this thing, you will not come out. Put it this way, there is a person who has been fed well at home. So every day he goes, he would want a starter, what is starter? Soup. Okay, uh, let's say the hotel does not have a soup bowl, if the soup is served in class, you will not accept. I need the soup bowl, but I also need the soup spoon, right? Not the teaspoon. Okay? I need that. That's the starter. Okay, then some appetizer. Chicken 65, or right now, tandoori chicken. Then full course meal. Then some dessert. Okay, finally, some you know ice cream or you know, something else. Is it possible for a person to have food like this when he is just above middle class person? Is it possible? If the person has got this demand and spent so much of money, okay, enjoying off, then he can he belong to this category. Very generic example. You can apply this in the dressing sense. You can apply this in the car. You can apply this in the mobiles that the person chooses. When he cannot offer. So he does everything to seek others' attention. Okay? And he wants the approval. So when I Avoid the person disorder, you don't give respect to others. You look at people, everybody as your opponent. You don't trust them. In here, you do everything so that others can you know, respect you. So that others can give you the importance. So, this is also a disorder. Then, to get ready in that day, to, to live up to that lifestyle, you are spending too much of money, you don't have actually much money. Your money. Then, psychologists will say, this guy has some problem. He will go there. When he put a bucket in the belly of the car, he cannot afford to do this. They will say that this is the disorder. Okay, then, a narcissistic personality disorder. Okay, what this happens is, okay, you would do good things not because you really want to do good things. You do good things because you really want to be admired by others. The previous thing, you would really want to get approval of others. But here, this disorder, what you are trying to do is, you try to do what you think will be right, but by not understanding others. For example, there are two people quarreling, okay? You found that one is very lean, the other person is very sturdy. He is shouting at the base of his voice. Okay, you are the master there, you are the, you are the employer there. You call this person, you shout back at them saying, how oh, dare you, you know, talk at the base of your voice, making a lot of noise in my office, and I am here, you are not supposed to make noise. Next time if you do, if you do this, I am not going to leave you. Probably, this guy would have done something bad. Ask him one day, or a 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 day, So he would have done really good thing for me. Without trying to understand, without trying to see things from this view, 
in order to get you know the acceleration from this guy, I shout at this, this guy. That means I do things. By not understanding others, you know, emotional, you know, needs. This is one type of disorder. Okay. It is like a man. And a lot of other leader. For example, you just go to a meeting. Okay. Then you end up uh, always paying for the bill, free for the bill. You feel like you are getting the minimum to pay for the thing. Why always go pay? What is the need? That is not my idea. That is not. That is not. That is not. That is not. There is no need. Maybe there is somebody who is willing to pay. Okay? So, this can be looked at as a disorder. I will tell you another example. 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 Okay? I will tell you another example. We learn tools, like Aristotle said. Anything can be a person with disorder, provided we don't tune in it. Sometimes we make mistakes, the next time we learn to tune ourselves. Okay? Then comes obsessive compulsive person with disorder. To be more honest with you all, I really cross-check. The first time I talked to them for 80s, 90s, maybe, do you have this disorder? Okay? This is not the dressing. This is not the spending. This is not the dealing with others. This is dealing with oneself. You know, 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 Oh, I think I introduced this now. Introduced this now. Oh, for this line, this is... Ah, is it good? Yes, it's good. Okay. Oh, Chicho. Now I have lost time. I will write you later. I will skip my breakfast. My wife would have taken a lot of time. My, my grandfather, you know, uh, wanted me to, you know, come with him. I would drop him. I would have paid all those duties. Then, it is a disorder. So, too much of rules, too much of rules, okay? Too, too much of rules. Knowing that it is not good for them, knowing that it is not good for others. Rules good, but not too much, okay? Not too much. You learn to be flexible, agreeableness. That comes into picture, okay? In that day, in that time, in that corner, you give assignment deadline, you check with them, you also let them know how the mass will be given, you tell them what you are expecting them to do, in that way, you are making them grow. Whereas here, you take the shots, you make the call. You don't have to worry about it, you end up trying to win. Is that okay? Can you understand? So, obsessive compulsive disorder can come with people having more authority, who are doing authority level role. Without knowing what they are doing, they can slip into this disorder. All the time, they command others. For example, wardens, hospital wardens. For example, somebody who trains the soldiers, okay, for them so much authority is given, okay, they expect that respect. The moment the, 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 the recruits are not doing it, they disqualify them. This has been, this they have been doing for 25 years, then probably they can, you know, have this issue. So now and then people have to check. Doing the job is different from becoming that person. College is not there, age is not there, friends are not there, church is not there. Those who are paranoid can protect themselves. Is that clear? 
மழை வரும் நினைச்சு முடிவு அப்படி போய் மழை வருமா எல்லாம் வாழ்வாள் பிரிச்சு இருப்போம் வாழ்க்கை எப்பதானே சந்தேகம் தீரா எப்பதான் எல்லாம் பேச இருக்கும் வந்த காலத்துல வாழ வந்த ஓரம் என்ன போகுது மழை தானே வந்தா போக he forgot to ask for extension i reduce mark for her this guy keeps it in his heart you know and then he makes out he uses a visual language in an email i complain okay it becomes a serious problem he is put off the you know college for one semester this guy sets up some you know mercenaries to hit me okay those days you could be say is rt 5.5 so go guy withdraw okay somehow i get to this i lodge a police complaint this guy is getting the bar why because he never was ready to trust me apply this in my life apply this on a friendship so in the current scenario this disorder creates a lot of problem for people at different levels in all places paranoid disorder you don't trust anybody okay always you look at things in a suspicious view okay then it is a problem so if you are looking at only pressure for some reason fine but if you are looking at everybody at the same level then it is a problem it is a disorder it has to be looked at okay then comes you know a, a, a deviant a deviant or a, or a some related disorder to avoid it okay this okay is a personality disorder which can be loosely relevant or related to avoided personality disorder in avoided you would say Hey, we let go for the you know uh, office function. Lepa, I think uh, I may not be interested. I have some other work. You see, uh, that is meant for the people who are always performing. But this time only I perform. There are many times I did not perform. I do not perform there. At least you have a reason. Whereas here, you maintain a sense of secrecy, emotional coldness. You know, you know, you know. I am just saying. It's not very. சரி அட்லீஸ்ட் அசை ரோட் எடுத்து அந்த வாட்ச் குடுக்குறியா நான் பாக்கி டிஷ் பை பண்றியா பாய் தரنا பேச ஓகே சோ this guy this girl has some issue maybe with me and she is really wanting to avoid me but in her heart in his heart he has a template created because of her relationship something has happened he is not openly verbalizing it okay something negative has happened He, the person is protecting and he is avoiding me. Okay? And uh, after the counseling session, it becomes so clear that the person was so wrong to first understand me. If it is a company, yes. If it is a teacher, student, yes. But if it is a boss and then subordinate, the guy has to resign his job and go. Because whatever I say, the man will trust it. Yes or no? Okay? This is the issue. People, if they avoid by maintaining emotional coldness and maintaining a lot of secrets, then you know people might have this short personality disorder okay so it is very that usually okay, people don't keep everything okay uh, it is said that uh, 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 very less people suffer from this personality disorder if you say probability obsessive compulsive personality disorder paranoid personality disorder anti social okay avoidant or, or avoidant nature uh, relationship newly married couple they they will have avoidant after some time they feel like she is not kind of convenient or very consistent and they know she is not very compatible with me i don't want to go with her she will take some problem let me go there she will avoid going forever and she will say i am i am his wife he is not willing to take me every, every time he is taking advice from amma do sir amma would have to tell him then i am go talk why is that your avoid illa avoid the english place or other one and english place or other customer okay you take it there but the really other thing is that Housewives who may not be knowing English, right? Like, if you want to drink some so long, office party, like, that you will put it at the meeting. Now, two days after that, what will you do? Yeah, for a glass of water, which you put it, why you have to put it? No, no, that's not what I'm saying. 